My name is Darren Martin. I am a senior English major from Columbia, South Carolina, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Maroon Tiger Student Media Group. Uh, my name is Jared Loggins. I'm a senior political science major from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm the managing editor for the Maroon Tiger. It's meant so much to me uh, to be editor of the Maroon Tiger because it really allowed uh, space for not only me, not only Jared, but almost 60 to 80 uh, students who were interested in not only media or, or journalism, but also broadcast uh, media, public relations, marketing, everything that this industry is moving into it is in already. Um, and being able to provide that space, being able for me to grow personally as a leader, as a writer, um, as someone who is interested in just growing brands, um, it's just really transformed my experience at Morehouse. Uh, we have had a chance to shape the narrative. Uh, we've had a chance to shape discussions on campus around a variety of different uh, issues. We have uh, also had a chance to, to collaborate on a, on a variety of different projects, special projects uh, on campus and, and in the community, I think, really helped to shape dialogue about issues that uh, black millennials face, uh, black college students face more generally, uh, and that our community uh, uh, deals with uh, daily. My plans for the future uh, are to really work in the advertising and marketing space, really multi-channel advertising and marketing. Uh, so what does this mean? It really means telling the stories of businesses. The reason why I'm interested in telling the stories of businesses, it's specifically black-owned businesses, is which is what Streamline Communications, uh, my company, focuses on, is really telling the story of um, small, owner, small business owners who may not have access to the type of information or to the uh, really the large media ecosystem that, that exists uh, nationally as well, looking at companies in Columbia, South Carolina, or uh, here in Georgia, who really aren't in that internet space, who really don't um, know anything about reach and engagement, and um, providing that space for them, providing that asset access for them uh, is going to be my biggest thing because I learned it here at the Maroon Tiger. The Maroon Tiger has really helped uh, to shape my career goals in, in two important ways. So on the one hand, uh, I've definitely become, I've definitely improved as a writer uh, and uh, as, a, as a researcher and as, as a scholar, someone who is intellectually curious uh, about a variety of different things. Uh, and as someone who's interested in being a scholar uh, and an academic, I know that uh, writing and, sc and scholarship and research is, is tremendously important. So I've definitely had a platform to improve that. Uh, the, the, the other way that I think the Moon Tiger has really helped to shape my, my career is that it's allowed me uh, a space to, to listen to people uh, and to be critical of things and to be honest about things uh, and to really uh, understand that I really don't have the answers. So I, I, I'm really forced, forced to like listen to people, to understand what they have to say about things. And I think it's really important. The biggest piece of advice that I can give to someone coming into Morehouse College as a graduating senior is to really just dream. I think that the reason why Jared and I were allowed to do things uh, the way that we did them in our two years is because we just had a dream. We just wanted to respond to things that were happening not only on campus, but in the national area as well. And so you, you just really have to have a dream and you have to follow that dream, but you also have to grow and be willing to grow and um, really to be willing to really die and come back to life and understand why you're conscious and why you're here. Um, and once you have that perspective and that purpose, everything else falls into line. I would encourage students uh, who are interested in coming to Morehouse, uh, who will be enrolling at Morehouse in the fall, is uh, to be intellectually curious about anything. Uh, I came to Morehouse uh, without a, a, a sense of, of being critical of things, without an intellectual curiosity. And I can say after four years that I'm leaving with a, with a more profound sense of, of my interests uh, and a more profound sense of the world. Uh, and I got that from the Maroon Tiger. I got it from my classrooms. I got it from the culture uh, on campus. I got it from brothers who are willing to engage with me on a variety of different issues. And that space is really important. So I would encourage uh, young people, young, young men who are about to embark on the Morehouse College experience uh, to be open and to be intellectually curious. I think my one of the last things that I would just tell a freshman or tell anyone coming into Morehouse or at Morehouse now is that you're going to make some hard decisions. Um, you're going to make friends, you're going to lose friends, and at the end of the day you really have to be in yourself and with yourself to know who you are and what you are and what you can bring to the table. And friendships, 
uh, relationships are going to either break or they're going to mend based on who you are as a person and knowing who you are as a person. So take that time. Sometimes it's, it's better to be alone. Sometimes it's better for introspection. Uh, and then coming back out into the world, re-emerging as someone uh, better and bigger, uh, you, you see the change. I saw the change. So I would encourage all students uh, and the young men who will be coming to Morehouse in the fall and in the future uh, that you have to really develop that, that sense of self and that transparency and that honesty with yourself to know that, uh, that you, 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 you can be who you want to be, but it's, it's, it's really up to you.